what's up youtube welcome back to another video so in my last video i showed you guys how to properly bleach the knots on any lace frontal wig now in this video i'm going to show you guys the install of that wig because a lot of people loved how that wig looked and they wanted to see it actually on my head so i'm going to show you guys how i got a perfectly flawless install so first thing that i'm starting off with is my ruby kisses cream foundation i'm using a stippling face powder brush and i'm just rubbing that all over it second i'll be using my wet and wild photo focus powder to set it because you want to set your foundation at all times so this is what it looks like after i apply the foundation and now i'm setting the makeup in so it doesn't run when i do my install now i know that the wig looks a little bit orange on camera at first when you see that i pull it down it actually does match my skin tone so now i'm about to pull it down and align it and then just try to cut the lace first i always start with the ear tabs but i had a problem parting out the ear tabs to cut them because the lace on this wig really was a lot and you could just see me struggling a whole bunch so what i did was i just aggressively cut off all of that excess lace now right here you can see that it was a lot easier for me to cut the lace. I didn't really struggle with anything and I cut it in the exact shape of the part. I always recommend parting out the shape of your sideburns or like where you want to cut because that makes it 10 times easier and you won't make any errors because you know exactly what to cut. Those little white patches that you see underneath my lace right before I cut, those are actually a non-slip band I think that the company installed. It's just two little squares on each side to prevent the lace from slipping. And now I'm about to take a cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol just to rub over my forehead and really take off all the excess dirt, makeup, oil, whatever it is. Because when you're putting glue down, especially in multiple layers of glue, you want to make sure it actually does stick to your skin. Now I did go off camera and apply my glue in tiny little dots and right here you just see me taking the end of my rat tail comb and blending out all of those dots so that they connect. And then after that I blow dried it but here's me applying my second layer of glue. The reason why there's some clips missing is because I was making a TikTok in the middle of this video. And right here you can hear me ask who is it because somebody had knocked on my door and I was confused. Turns out it was just my boyfriend so I went and opened the door and continued my install. I think this was about like my third layer of glue right here you guys can see me doing the TikTok. and in between each layer i make sure to blow dry on cold you want to use cold air because using heat actually makes the glue separate and right now i'm about to apply my fourth layer and just i don't know try to do the youtube video and the TikTok at the same time this was like really chaotic I think this layer was my final layer. Now with all the others, I blow dried them until they were clear. But with this layer, I blow dried it until it had that slight little blue color. I didn't want it fully clear because that meant that it was dry. So I waited until it was slightly blue and then I pulled the wig down to about where I wanted it. I didn't care if it was over the line of blue as long as it wasn't behind it because then that means I would have a whole bunch of cleanup to do. And right here you see me just jamming out to my music trying to record the TikTok and setting up my phone properly. So now I'm gonna cut the lace into three sections. I always do this to make it easier to work with. And y'all, these scissors were sharp. I was actually kind of scared, not gonna lie. I usually lift up one layer at a time. And what I do is I use the end of my rat tail comb to add just enough glue to cover right where I want to cut the lace. So that way I have full control over where I'm adding it and that I don't add too much. Now on the sides, I did do it way far back on the sides, so on the sides, I didn't need to use the rat tail comb that much. I just traced it with the glue bottle, and now I'm slightly blow drying it, and then I'm going to pull it over when I'm done and just comb my rat tail comb through the lace to make sure to push the lace onto the glue. While the glue is sitting there and drying, I like to use my blow dryer on cold just to make sure that everything is getting melted properly and that by the time I cut, the glue is not still tacky and I won't make a mess when I'm done. As you can see, there's still some white spots, so I'm using this time to just comb my rat tail comb through the lace and push the glue into it, and then also finish my TikTok during that time. Now I'm going to take my melt band and tie it extremely tight behind my head to make sure that the lace is actually getting melted, and then I'm going to take my blow dryer on cold heat for five minutes. After that's done, we are just going to untie the edge band. That's probably one of the hardest parts, untying it and then continuing to tie it. And right now I'm gonna prepare to cut my lace. I'm cutting in a zigzag motion and I'm being very careful because the scissors that I use particularly are extremely sharp. 
like when i say extremely sharp i mean extremely sharp and i'm leaving some excess lace because i plan to do some really dramatic baby hairs today so i'm not too worried about cutting off all the lace because that's gonna make it difficult for me to lay my baby hairs over now this is what the hairline looks like after i've cut it you do notice that there is kind of a cast but that's okay that's because i'm pulling it back so that i can catch all the spots that i missed and then i'm going in again and i'm spot checking with the rat tail comb and just applying the glue wherever it needs to be applied Whenever I'm doing dramatic baby hairs or I really want my baby hairs to stand out, I leave a little bit of space on the lace instead of parting them all the way back into the rest of the hairline because then it leaves like a really short space and you don't see the emphasis of where the baby hairs start. So if you want to make your lace look like scalp, that is my trick because as you can see once I part them, it looks like it's actually coming from the hairline. Like my baby hairs don't look like I just parted them right out of my hair. It looks like those could actually be my baby hairs and that the rest of it is the back of the hairline. Right here, I'm taking my Sheet is Bomb wax stick and putting it on my hair to separate it. And then I'm going to take the Fantasia Liquid Mousse Spritz. Y'all, this is the best way to melt your lace a whole bunch extra. Melt your lace and your baby hairs. Like, this is the truth. That Fantasia Liquid Mousse Spritz, it smells like bubblegum and it is amazing. I love it. So right now I'm gonna take my blow dryer and I'm going to one, finish my TikTok because I'm not gonna give up. It was really difficult, but I ended up finishing it. And then two, blow dry my edges for five minutes. After they're finished blow drying, I'm just going to untie it. And as you can see, it is melted. You could tell, like this looks like my scalp. And I went off camera and cut the baby hairs and everything. I actually mixed some of that liquid mousse and then some Gorilla Snot Gel to do my edges because I wanted them to give off a slight little curly effect because I don't like when the edges on curly hair look straight. So I'm making sure my swoops kind of give that, you know, nice little curl effect, but they also look very sleek. That first swoop looks absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm doing the second one into the hairline. Now you guys can see why I left that space because I wanted it to look like I got a pixie cut. I wanted it to look like I got a pixie cut wig, honey. So I'm just going over my swoops once more and I'm making sure that I perfect them. This one was a little bit too long for me. I kept playing with it, but it didn't really work out. So what I did was I grabbed my scissors and I combed them out and I just cut them diagonally and boom, problem solved. And I'm doing the same on the other side to try and make the hair look how I want it to. And for the final touch, you are going to melt your hairline once again for five minutes. While the hairline is being finished up, I'm gonna spray some water in my hair to try and define the curls and style the rest of the hair when the edges are being done. After I spray the water, I'm going to take some mousse. This is the Pump It Up brand mousse. I forgot what the name is. Then I'm going to take my frizz buster and I'm just going to put that all over the hair because the oil actually helps to trap the moisture and I'm going to comb it through to try and define the curls. I've never had a hairstyle this short, so right here I'm really playing in it and trying to get a good feel of how I should style it. I figured that I wanted to have kind of like a flip over look. I didn't really want it to look like it was a side part that i put there i wanted it to just flow naturally so what i did was i grabbed my hot comb and i just hot combed the front to look like it was a free part and not like i put a side part there because i wanted it to flow so well the hot comb did its job i finally got a hot comb so y'all can leave me alone now and now i'm just gonna untie the edge band and show you guys how my hairline turned out as you can see it is giving scalp i love it all right, usually I do these videos in my room, but I am going to show you guys what it looks like in natural light. This is without my ring light, and I'm just showing you guys a full 360 view of the hair. This hair is absolutely gorgeous. The lace melted perfect. This is the best lace I've probably gotten on a wig so far. I don't even know what type of lace they put in it. If I find it, I'm going to put it right here on the screen, but this wig is amazing. Everybody thinks that it is my hair. The way that the back comes down, it hides the nape of your neck. I didn't end up cutting um, this mesh piece. All I had to do was tuck it in, and it looks like my hair. That's it. Like, this wig really does give the feel of just... The lace is gorgeous. Like, th this wig is gorgeous. You guys know I've never had short hair in my life. So the fact that this looks as natural as it does, I'm going to show you guys how it looks zoomed in. And, yeah, the knots took bleach so well the knots were really small but they took the bleach so well minimal shedding only shedding that i had was you know i'm gonna comb up the hair after plucking 
that was about it um i hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to check out this new and amazing company a shine hair and use my code below you in for money off of your next order thank you guys so much for watching i love you bye